Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Revitalising Villa. This is after number 36 and today we are coming up against, well, an old rival as such in Chelsea. We've had some tough times against them. Um, I mean, there's nightmares, there's nightmares there. But, you know, we've proven we can get an odd result here and there. So let's see if we can do it on camera today against the Chelsea side who are top of the league after two wins. So that'll be good, that'll be good. We've played one game. One game since um, since the opening day of the season, the 1-1 draw against West Ham, you'll see it in the top corner of the screen there. So let's get to that one, Wolves. It was a comfortable 2-0 victory over a Wolves side that I think have just won promotion again. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Um, they're, they're a team we should be beating because we are trying to progress. And it's two goals, the first two goals with Aston Villa Korea for Pietro Pellegri. It's good to see. He got a penalty in the 42nd minute and took the confidence on to score three minutes later to see the win. I tried Pellegri and Sego up front and it seemed to work out quite nicely with Caceres and Fab Alex having good games as well. La Celso again, another bad game for him. Rodrigo wasn't very good in that game either, but he will play today. I guarantee you, Rodrigo and Pellegri are the future. And we are coming up against the Chelsea side that have won their first two games of the season. A 1-0 win against Stoke and a 5-1 thrashing of Leicester. Asensio got two in two minutes. Adre, Andre Silva, Christensen, oh, well, it's not really the score you expect. But this, they're a good side. They're going to be a good side this year, Chelsea. I think I think they're going to, going to be a real title contender. So it's going to be a tough, tough game. And I've just noticed I've came in a week early. So see you in a week. Coming in a week early has allowed me to get some little bit of news into you, though. Aston Villa player James Chester has taken his first step on the ladder of professional coaching, completing his National C licence, which is quite cool. Not, he's still playing, he's, he's the captain, but OK, all right, no problem. We get the Carabao Cup third round draw as well. Interesting, we do have another draw, because I've just noticed that on the same day as this, we'll see it in a second, it's a Champions League group stage draw. So let's get this one out of the way and then do the big one. I've only drew one team, and we are the first team out of the hat. Of course, we joined the Carabao Cup in the third round. Due to playing in Europe, we get to... To, to skip around, which is quite nice. We have got a home tie. Birmingham are still there. Right, here we go. Villa will play. Middlesbrough. Okay. Get to the big one. And here we go then. The draw for the European Champions Cup, UEFA Champions League group stage, is made today. Villa are one of eight teams that have been seeded fourth. So it's, we are going to have a difficult draw no matter what's going to happen here. Yeah, the first seeds have been drawn. Somehow Zenit are a first seed now, uh, which is a little bit weird. Zenit, Juventus, Monaco, Man United, Bayern, Benfica, Atletico Madrid and Paris Saint-Germain. Barcelona and Real Madrid are second seeds, which is quite weird. There's the first big tie of the Champions League group stage. Manchester United versus Real Madrid. Arsenal have drew Atletico Madrid, which is good for us because it means that we can't play Atletico or Real Madrid because we can't be in either of those two groups, which is good. Or Paris Saint-Germain, and that's who Chelsea will play. So, interesting. On to the third seeds. We're on to the fourth seeds, which is where we are. Joined by CSK, Moscow, Basel, Club Bruges. I don't know who that is. Sao Bucharest, maybe. Uh, Feyenoord, Galatasaray, and Herenveen from, from Holland, which is quite weird. Looking at the groups then, I mean, Monaco, Dortmund, and Inter is not a group you want to fall into there, I would I would argue. Um, Zenit, Barcelona, and Gelsenkirchen, as much as Barcelona, and possibly Zenit is going to be a tough game. I'm not sure about that. Juve, Porto, mm, Bayern, Sevilla. I mean, there's no easy games. I'd probably say Benfica, Leon, and Lazio is the easiest group at the moment. So I wouldn't mind being in Group F. Let's see where we come out. Feyenoord going to Group A. Moscow going to Group B. <laughs> Why? Why? We get the... I mean, it's the group of death, isn't it? Monaco, Dortmund, Inter and Aston Villa. I mean, there's some, some big, big games, I suppose. And looking at it, that will come in the next episode. So we're playing Chelsea and Stoke today. And it's Dortmund and Leicester in the next one. I mean, that's, that's huge, huge. And this is the team then that plays today's game. I'm changing things up a little bit and I'm dropping LaCelso because he's not really playing well behind the two strikers. And I'm going with what is more of a traditional 4-4-2 really. It's Galini in goal who's made that position his own now this season. Stenzel, he's changed his role a little bit. He's going to be playing as a wing back on defend rather than bombing forward because Zinchenko will be in that sort of area. Um, Sutar and Mawson comes back in which is nice um, he's suddenly got over his injury and he's, he's the better central defender that we've got because we we didn't buy any I didn't buy any defenders but Mawson plays which is good to see Mitch on the left of course Caceres and Fab Alex in the midfield uh, losing the Celso means Fab Alex has a little bit more space but I will talk about that in a second because he might not actually uh, Zinchenko and Rodrigo on the wing Zinchenko on the right Rodrigo on the left both playing as inside forwards it's what suits them best, and I'm thinking if we play the two of them, play very, very narrow, so no no width as such, and literally have them everyone coming inside, 
it may it may be an absolute terrible idea and it may just get in each other's way but We'll see. We'll see what happens. Up front, Pellegri, of course, is a target man after two goals against Wolves. And Gonzalez comes back in as a complete forward. Gonzalez has a knack for a big match appearance, and this is a big game against Chelsea. So he plays. Sago and Deadpool are on the bench if we need them. Patrick Roberts and Salah are also there. I was tempted to play Roberts rather than Zinchenko, but Zinchenko gets his chance today. And if we can pull off a result here, it will give me some confidence going into the Champions League. It's going to be interesting to see how this new sort of tactic works where... where Obviously, La Celso wasn't really doing anything in games. I was finding he wasn't involved as much. We were using the, the wing on the left more than more than rather La Celso. So having two inside forwards might work in our favour. We haven't started well here, but there's not been a highlight so far. That was a stupid thing to say. It's Fab Alex's free kick then. It's drifted in. I mean, it's been headed away, and all of a sudden they're breaking very, very quickly. Okay, they're breaking very, very quickly. Edin Hazard, this has got to be a goal, surely. Galini with a save. Hazard should have squared it, really. They are dominating so far. I wouldn't say his tactic's working. We'll see the corner, so that's, there's nothing going to happen from this. Absolutely nothing. I mean, nothing ever happens with corners on Football Manager. Very, very rarely. Yet all of us, I mean, oh, okay, whatever. Don't, don't. Hazard is an absolute danger. He's a menace. May as well call him Dennis. Aiding the menace. I mean, it's not it's not got the same ring to it. Sinchenko's having a bad game. So we'll get Roberts on instead. And see if Patrick Roberts can play well. He likes to play inside forward as well. But, I mean, no, it's not it's not, it's not the right move. Salai is there if we need him. Salai might be a better option. It's a Chelsea goal kick. So that's always got a good start to a highlight. Suta with a wonderful header though. And Pellegri can switch it wide to Rodrigo. This is good football to Gonzalez. To Fab Alex. Great chance for Fab Alex. And Fab Alex scores. Aston Villa have equalised. Massive goal. Massive, massive goal of the game. And it's Villa 1, Chelsea 1. And of course it's super Fab Alex. Suta, what a header that is by the way. Pellegri to Rodrigo. Inside with the first touch. Oh, what a pass to Gonzalez. And this, this ball by Gonzalez is great. Fab Alex has drove forward. Losing La Celso has meant more more space for Fab Alex and it's worked out there. It's Villa 1, Chelsea 1 and we are back in the game here. They brought off Asensio, they brought on Willian and I, I mean, what, don't ruin this for me. Don't ruin this for me. It's a bloody penalty. And now Edin Hazard will step up for Chelsea. It's saved by Galini. Okay, okay then. Ooh, I feel like something special is about to happen guys and I think the substitution here could be important but there's a highlight, there's a highlight. Caceres into Fab Alex. He's all on his own, really, but he's worked it back to Caceres nicely. Fab Alex into Rodrigo. Rodrigo with a shot. Oh, big chance for Rodrigo, and he's put it over the bar. We have to take chances like that. Pellegrini's not having the greatest game. Neither is Rodrigo. Where's, what's the option here? What, I mean, Sutar has a booking, which is a little bit worrying. Um, oh, oh, what do you do? I'm thinking Sago for Pellegri, because he's, he's, he's likely to get a goal, Sago. Pellegri's not had a great game. And Salai for Rodrigo. The two summer signings are coming off here. We've made our three changes here. We're still on attacking. That could be a mistake, but here's a highlight. Stenzel's giving it away. Mawson's underneath it. Don't do anything stupid, and he doesn't. Galini up towards Gonzalez, but Chelsea have won the header, and Chelsea come forward. Belotti. Oh, no. Morata. <laughs> Maybe the changes was a mistake there. Maybe staying on attacking was a mistake. There is still going to be a highlight here for them. For them, though. To kill us off. Belotti, that's one of the worst finishes of all time. Well, here we go then. Stenzel. Fab Alex. Stenzel. Back to Fab Alex. Gets across. Walter Gonzalez on the turn. Sago. Sago. God. No. 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 And now they come forward. Now it's Willian. Now it's towards Belotti. Galini's got it. Surely not. I mean, we, we have to make a chance from this. Galini, where are you going with it? He's, I mean, he's found Patrick Roberts nicely. Surely not. Surely not. Salai, Caceres, Patrick Roberts now. In towards Gonzalez. Gonzalez has made something of it. Fab Alex! Fab Alex has scored again! Oh my word! Scenes. Hashtag scenes. Oh, Villa 2, Chelsea 2. That's incredible. Roberts, I mean, I don't know what that lofty pass was. Aspi Liqueta makes a mess of it. Walter Gonzalez is low cross. And Fab Alex... <laughs> 
how have we got away with this? I mean, we've played pretty well. It's over. It's not going to be up. How have we got... I am... I don't know what to say. It's Villa 2, Chelsea 2. How have we... F Foul, Alex. You are my hero. Absolute hero. And after that, manic end to the game. Um, we, we've... I had to wait two weeks for the next one, so we've moved that forward. But here we are today, Stoke City. It's a game we really should win, but it's a game that, knowing us, we won't. So let's let's see what happens. This is the team. Galini in goal, Stenzel, Sutar, Mawson and Mitch, the back four, as you expect them to be. Caceres and two goal five Alex from the last one will hopefully continue that good form. Zinchenko keeps his place, but more as a winger. Um, and it's Rodrigo on the inside forward position. Gonzalez and Pellegri up front. Pellegri got his first Italy goal in the break, so hopefully he'll continue his good form. Uh, Sega also got his first Croatia goals, but he's on the bench, so who cares? We are the away side for this one. Stoke City at the Britannia. And I'm, I'm going to call it the Britannia. It's not the Bet365, it's the Britannia. We're doing the traditional names. I'm not doing this sponsorship. It's the Britannia. They are usually a threat there. Gonzalez. We're going to work this now. Fabalic, look at him driving. That's that's why we took the Celso out and it's worked. A low cross and there's Pellegri. Perfect start. Stoke nil, Villa 1. 12 minutes in. Pietro Pellegri. He, oh, it's, he's going to be a legend. I can feel it. It's going to be a legend. It was all about Fabalic's driving run. Again, as I say, because of the Celso dropping out, it's a lot more space for Fabalic to, to get forward. And he's proving to do that. Two goals against Chelsea and assist already here. It's a good start. It's a good start. We come forward again. Fab Alex's free kick headed away. And this is where Stoke can look to break now with Smith. Smith towards Ramadan. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay. Bojan's equalised. The lead lasted a minute. We are dominating the pitch, though, as you can see here. Fab Alex to Pellegri. Can he work it wide? And he does. Zinchenko getting forward. First real sign we saw of him is with Gonzalez at the near post. And Walter Gonzalez grabs his first goal of the season. It was a very similar goal to the first one as we worked it wide on the right. A low cross and the striker come across to the near post and put it in the back of the net. This time it was Gonzalez. Pellegri was involved in the build-up. Zinchenko as well getting an assist, which is good to see. There's there's such an excitement with this front two, Gonzalez and Pellegri, and they've both got on the score sheet, so happy days. Zinchenko's free kick then. He took it short to Fab Alex on the edge of the box, and Fab Alex has drove it well wide. I don't like it when they take free kicks short in those positions because it's it's a you've got defenders up. I mean, like a corner here, it's out to the edge of the box. It's Fab Alex, Caceres. <sighs> Look at the defenders that are forward, and we didn't use them. Fab Alex driving forward, though. It's still a highlight. He's crossed it in, and Rodrigo's header, and it's 3-1. And this is a wonderful first half, then, at the Britannia. It's three goals, three different goal scorers. Rodrigo joining in on the act. It's his second goal since joining. And again, it's all about Fab Alex driving forward. There's a reason I gave him that nickname, and he's living up to it today. I mean, what's that? Two goals. And two assists in the episode. He's, he's trying to get your attention. Half time then, and although they have had more shots on the stats, we have got well more goals in the goal scoring stats. It's three one. We are we are flying in this first half. I don't really want to make too many changes. The only the only the only real problem is the defence at the moment. Uh, Rodrigo does have a booking, which is a little bit of a worry, but he'll stay on the field for now. We do have Salah and Roberts, of course, and Deadpool. We haven't so much a Deadpool so far this season, which is a bit of an interesting one. Games like this is always about the next goal, and if we can get a fourth, it's fully game over. Three ones always a bit of a testing scoreline. So it's Fab Alex's free kick though. It's, it's been comfortably headed away, and it's it's just like the Chelsea game. They're flying forward on the counter attack way too easily. What is going on with this counter attack today? They've given it away though, and here we might be able to break. Caceres to Fab Alex. Look at the space for Gonzalez. He's gone to the other side to Pellegri. Pellegri back to Fab Alex. Fab Alex in goal scoring form. And Fab Alex in goal scoring form indeed. It's 4 1. That's the goal that'll seal it. I'm comfortable now. It's three in an episode for Fab Alex. He's my hero. He's the man. It's all about Pellegri's pass there. Fab Alex, he's got forward again. And it's a tidy little finish. Mignolet left with no chance. It's. We're so good. Mitch to Roberts. Patrick Roberts to Sago. Sago to Deadpool. And that's that's the impression we wanted him to make, isn't it? Deadpool scores. It's 5-1. The youngster is on the score sheet. 
it's it's literally the perfect perfect game apart from the goal Stoke scored Bojan's tackle was a good one but it just gave it straight to Deadpool Deadpool says thank you very much we just need Sega to get a goal and then all the strikers have scored it's a message really to the rest of the Premier League that we're not we're not just going to take our good season last year and and go with it we're not going to be a Leicester we are we are progressing and we're going to be a top four challenger at least this year we are doing that here a 5-1 victory full time is approaching just just blow the whistle there it is stoke city have been not just beaten they've been demoralized they've been battered they've been, i mean any word you've got for it stoke city are feeling it it's 5-1 and the perfect way to end an episode and so that is the end of the episode then and a pretty good episode a great win as you just saw and the first game to come back from 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 a losing position against chelsea and to to get a point so miraculously it's been a pretty good episode it's a big one next one though on friday massive episode champions league debut we've been drawn in the group of death as you saw and we started against dortmund on friday do not miss it if you like the video like the video subscribe to the channel or drop me a comment until then from me to you goodbye